All right, and hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Tears of the Kingdom Let's Play. And if you guys missed out during the last one, we went and taken care of the Guimbach Shrine, and now we can go and learn ourselves with the Ascend ability, which that is pretty nice. Now, if you guys do go and see here uh, with Link's uh, pants that we actually do have, uh, we can now finally be able to go and protect ourselves from the warmth now. And uh, if you guys want to know exactly where we need to go and find these type of pants, uh, these pants are actually going to be known as, let's go and check around with our clothing here, is actually we could be known as the archaic warm greaves warm greaves believed to be a very long time ago despite the old look the heat retaining material makes it pleasantly resistant to the cold temperatures which that is very nice for link and we don't ever have to worry about getting ourselves injured by the cold any more than it has to be now one thing that i may probably have to be a little bit worrisome about is with these pants that we do have i don't know when we start heading on into like the warmer type of climate i don't know if that's going to start kind of injuring ourselves a little bit uh like around during the time that we start heading back to like the temple of time which that is going to happen here within this episode for today but we'll kind of find that out when we start heading on over back to it but if you guys want to see where the uh where the archaic greaves are you have to go and use the ascendability all the way up here and once you go and do uh there will be a campfire here and not only that uh but you'll go and open up with this chest and then that is where you can go and find those greaves so now what we have to go and do is that you guys see on our uh pira pad which we should probably go and kind of open this up here for a quick second you can see that there it is our our objective the closed door uh since we got ourselves with all the different shrines finally now activated and already taken care of uh and also since we got ourselves with those three different abilities we can now go and head on over to the temple of time and see what is in store for us uh within that time for right now so with all that being said let's go and finally head on down from here and uh it seems like we got ourselves with raru down over here and let's go and interact with him and uh, see what's happening and not only that but if you guys are new to the channel make sure that you guys go and click on that subscribe button not only that but also don't forget to leave a like and also a comment down below to show your guys' support here for tears of the kingdom now if you guys do want to go and stay up to date with anything that is happening within our times with the different series that are happening and not only that but if you guys want to go and stay up to date for any type of live streams that's going to be happening which of course that is going to be happening soon uh which you guys uh, should be seeing uh within the time of like uh with the post recording and stuff like that i know that uh we do have an up and coming uh luigi's mansion dark moon so hope you guys do go and check out on that when that does drop uh but with all that being said in mind let's go and talk it over here to raru and see what's happening so the zona devices were a pinnacle of our technology we built an advanced civilization with them and flourished for many years but if you go and master use the zona devices then your quest will be much easier well we have been kind of using them here and there so far if you guys do recall but now we finally got ourselves with one of these guys here and now this is going to be something really nice i think these are going to be the gliders uh that we can kind of go and uh, move around with now i'm not too entirely certain if we may probably we need a fan for one of these or something like that here but it should be really nice to go and uh, try this out here at some point and uh, let's go and drop that down for now and let's go and see so the temple of time is just literally right there and we just need this zona glider to get ourselves all activated and all up into gear for this part but let's go and just check here so yeah we do have one more extra uh one of these type of gliders oh no 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 ah oh my god that was so close i cannot believe i actually saved that right there i thought for sure i was gonna not be able to be able to use that <laughs> okay uh, let's go and try out something here, because I'm not really too entirely certain on how these Zona gliders work, but I'm just going to go and put a fan on here and see if this may, uh, probably help out for a second. Um, uh, I don't know if we may possibly need to, like, kind of lift this guy up in the air or something, or maybe probably have to, like, kind of tilt this guy up or something like that. So let's just kind of, uh, do something like this, because I wonder if we may probably have to, like, tilt this guy up, like so and just maybe just drop him down like that uh, oh no it's gonna tip over i thought so oh no but there it goes uh, hold on hold on man oh oh no and then i also fell <laughs> no oh my god i can't believe that no oh my god that has to be like a highlight of this whole entire episode right there no I, that's what i was not supposed to be doing there prox all i wanted to do was just try to lift this guy up in the air and then at least try to put the fan underneath what was going on with that and i completely messed that up <laughs> Maybe I'll think about a different idea for what's going to happen uh, for our time again. Okay, so let's do this again, and let's just try to make sure that we can at least try to set up with the Zona Glider once and for all, and not try to fall our way into our death again. That was really hilarious, man. 
You know what? Just to be for sure that if I ever do any of those type of stupid maneuvers again, make sure that I go and try to clip that and put that into uh, into our time uh, within some of the different YouTube shorts because I, that is something that I've been trying to be planning out on doing for like quite a while though if I ever do like anything like hilarious like that. But oh my god, that was so funny. Okay, let's try this out again and hopefully we do not go and... Uh, cause any more grief around down here because i, I want to see if you can at least use like a fan or something to at least maybe just kind of get this guy while it's flying around because we do need to go in and just use that and we do have one more of these devices right here and i wouldn't mind just like trying to set it up right away all right so let's do that okay so i'm gonna set this guy right here and then i guess what will happen from here is that we'll just kind of just place this guy on its little uh, sliding part here and let's just kind of run up on it and give it a nice good whack and see if that will be able to fly us in the sky hey hey look at that oh no uh oh oh that was not a good idea Woo! oh no oh god this is a really scary predicament man ouch okay <laughs> holy moly I don't know if that was the way on how you're supposed to do that, but I guess I almost managed out on reaching on over to the Temple of Time by doing that. Oh, man. Okay, we'll have to give that out a second. Well, sorry, not a second attempt. A third attempt down here. See if that's going to probably work this time around. Dang it, man. What the heck? I literally had at least somewhat of a nice good type of way there. Literally trying to like create my own glider out here, and I don't know how that that's gonna work. Hmm. I may probably need to bring one of my friends out here for this to at least show me how these type of glider things work with these Zona stuff because I don't know how this is gonna work. There's one other guy up there, and I may probably have to go and talk to him. Okay, well, you know what we're gonna do here, guys, is that since we have this ascendability, I'm gonna see if I can go and head all the way up into this part and probably just go and uh, maybe interact with uh, with one of these other type of constructs out here. Because I see, I think I see one of these guys around up in here with one of these gliders. So, kind of interested to uh, see if he has anything for us to go and talk to. So, hey, how's it going, buddy? All right, so my duties are complete. Okay, and oh. Is this a rarity? It's unusual for me to go and receive these visitors here, but I assume that you require the Zona devices to ascend to the mountain. Would you like to go and use the device dispenser? Yeah, sure, why not? Well, yes, I'm a manufacturing Zona devices using the device dispenser, uh, but if you do see this bowl-like receptacle, resources held in hands can be deposited here. Except resources as constructs horns and Zona charges for processing. So the altitude here is incredibly high, and so no easy task to ascend to the mountain. Well, we already tried that at least twice. One from a flop, and another one almost about to even make it on over to our destination. But that's why I'm preparing wing-type Zona devices that are useful for tools for making your descent. Well, thank you, man. I should at least know about that right have wing type of zona devices out here does he have that for me can we go and talk to him about it all right so device dispenser okay so i guess he doesn't really have anything else to go and say to even give me anything okay well that's just lovely so what am i supposed to do here okay uh well i know that i have like a few of these type of zona things right we have a zona chart so i wonder if i could just go and hold and maybe just put it in here oh wait what the heck hey i said I put it in there can we at least just throw it in there? Thank you. Let's go and at least see what this is going to happen. So it's like a little gumball machine. I don't think we ever really got to try this out all that too much. So now, look at that. So now we have ourselves a fan at this point. Now I want to see what else that we could also go and drop here. Because we also do have one of these guys as well. And I wonder what this is also going to give us. So maybe having two different fans will probably cause out, uh, probably for us to at least kind of reach out over to the destination from there, right? Garcelles with a wing! Hey, look at that! A Zona device that can harness lift it to the right of the wind and fly farther and try bouncing on the center of the wing. Okay. So we have one of these guys here. And uh, I know that we have a second fan. So let's go and try this out now. And try this out for a third attempt. And see if we can actually go and place maybe two fans instead. And then at least try to get this guy up and running at this point. 
Okay, hopefully let's just cross our fingers and see if two fans will probably work and uh, hopefully try to keep it balanced because I think that was the whole issue was that I don't think it was balancing all that too properly out here after since that complete flop happened. All right, so there we go. So there, so there's that one. So let's go and pick this guy up. We're going to lift him up in the air and we're going to tilt him around like so. Okay, uh, so let's put one end onto here. And then we'll put the other one on to the other side. So at least kind of keep it even, right? Because that's what we want to do. And then at least try to reach on over to the uh, destination here. Okay, so let's go and put it right there. Okay, so now it's kind of even now, right? So I'm going to see if I can just kind of bring it over this way. We're going to drop it down. And oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Go, 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 go. No, and I missed. No, come on, man. What is going on out here? Oh, what? No, I literally had that. <laughs> Give me a fan. Hey, you got me a fan. Right. Okay, guys, and I am back. And let's go and give off another attempt out here, shall we? Hopefully we can at least go and do it this time. Now, I did do a little bit of some research to kind of at least help me out to figure out exactly how this is supposed to work. Okay, so what needs to happen here is that we can't really go and do the Ultra Hand just yet, but uh, let's just go and uh, head on over here to one of our Zona devices. We need to go and bring out with this guy. We'll take out with the fan. So uh, if you guys remember from before, we kind of almost did it like the right type of way from the last time. Uh, but I think for right now, all that we have to kind of go and do is place this guy on the back like so. And once we go and do something like that, we will just have to go and just take this guy here with us and bring it all the way over here to this type of spot. And oh, well, actually, hold on. Okay, guys, and I am back, and uh, here is another attempt that I'm going to go and try to do here, and hopefully this is going to work, and hopefully don't go and flop this one again, but it seems like I'm on the right exact type of path, so we're going to let this glider kind of sink all the way down from here, and then hopefully try to uh, at least start to glide, and I think just like that, I think we should be okay, so let me just kind of just stand right here, and I think we are good to go. Now, uh, if you guys do see that the Zona charge is kind of uh, kind of trickling on down, so I think what we're going to kind of go and do is just kind of put a stop to that, and we're just going to kind of land over through this way here, and hopefully just try to get ourselves a, at least a little bit of a nice, safe, decent landing out here if I don't die. Okay, I did not die, but at least we let the glider kind of do its thing for us, which that is very handy. But let's go and finally enter on into this place after so long of us having to go through all these different shrines. We can now finally go and do it now. And let's see what the Temple of Time is going to wait for us within our time here. That pun, not intended. Well, I guess you could say pun intended for it. Because it is called the Temple of Time, right? Oh boy. So I wonder if this is going to be like the big huge type of test, right? To kind of put all of our different abilities into this type of thing. Because I know that I think... Wasn't there like a Temple of Time before? I don't know if it was like in uh, Twilight Princess or something or, or some sort of nature like that where you kind of have to kind of put all your different type of uh, items into like uh, into like somewhat of a good use with everything that is happening within here. But seems like uh, we got ourselves something else that's right here, which I'm kind of curious what that's all about. So what's happening this way? So let's go and interact with it, huh? Okay, and here we go. Something's going to happen here. But again, if you guys ever want to go and leave me any type of tips or anything uh, down below uh, for like the comments to kind of help me out with any type of tips or tricks or anything like that, kind of let me know along with the way. But hey, there's Zelda. How's it going? Oh, uh, what's happening here? We have to go and extend our hand to her? All right. Well, it's kind of be feeling a little bit weird. I don't have my other hand. I have like a robot hand now. Or I should say like a Zona hand at this point. We still don't really know exactly what happened with with the, with Zelda and everything after the whole collapse of the castle, right? Okay, and now she's glowing. Is she gonna have like a special orb for us or something here? I don't know exactly. Something's going on with our arm. Maybe we're gonna get like an upgrade or something. That'd be really cool. 
Well, let's go and see what's uh, going on here. Anything? Yeah, with that being said in mind, seems like we got ourselves probably another ability. Oh! Very cool. So there's a symbol now marked onto our hand now. And off she goes. The princess is in another castle, basically. Oh, how lovely. Well, that was just interesting enough. So that was all that was here for was the Temple of Time. So now we got ourselves with the recall ability. Reverse an object's movement until it goes back where it was. You can go and stop the reverse movement at any time. Interesting. So I wonder if we have to put it here into this big, huge uh, building that's going on. Ah, the recall ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. Interesting. So, and Zelda has vanished as well, huh? So what you just saw was a mystery that even to me, perhaps, was sort of an echo one that reflects with her sheer will. Well, now that you've been given this ability, no doubt it will prove important. Yes, we will. Well, it is a temple. So I guess for right now, what we're going to have to kind of go and do is just save this here until next time, guys. Uh, we're going to go and worry about what's going to happen throughout here until a little bit later. And... Uh, now, also, too, I uh, hope you guys go and check out with the uh, Pokemon Coliseum Let's Play. I know that we have to go through, uh, I want to say, through the Iron Battle that's going to be happening. And I uh, hope you guys do go and check on that when that does happen uh, within these two videos for today. But I'll see you guys then. And, of course, peace.